What's good? What's good? Welcome to Epic Entertainment Critics. I'm Antoine. No, I'm still James. Okay. Uh, we get episode. We do, we're doing the boys. Uh, season three. Is that episode four or five? Yeah, that was five. five. They had one, two, three. Yeah, one to three was the first release. Yeah. Four and then five. So sorry. <laughs> episode five. Um, where we leave off at four? So uh, Soldier Boy has been waking up. Soldier Boy up. Uh, woke up. Uh, he, we, uh, Kimiko ended up in the hospital. Yeah, somehow she lost her powers. Yeah, whatever um, energy he released at her right. knocked her powers out. But it's funny that we'll talk about this later. But it seems like that don't work on other people. Like it did, I guess, because he hit somebody else with the damn energy, and they did just got burnt. I mean. Yeah. We'll, all right, we'll get to that. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, uh, you know what's so funny? So they, and then, you know, Huey took the, the B-24 and uh, also um, Butcher had already took it, but now Huey took it. Yeah. And now they trying to get um, Marvin to take it. And they just yeah. kind of like, they kind of like, hey, let's try this. Uh, you know, we got to even, even the playing field. And he, he got that line, which is definitely pointed. It's like, nah, the whole point. But what we doing is that no one should be able to do that. But that was what I said that from the beginning. Yeah. Even I when I saw that, in the comics they was taking yeah. the compound V, I was like, then what's the point? Yeah, and I think <laughs> that's the idea of what they're trying to do in the show is to try to, like, hold that line better than they did in the comics. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, it looks like he was considering it, though. Yeah. When he's like, yeah, my dad wouldn't approve. But. It's like, he, he wants to kill Soldier Boy, but, like, ah. I think it might get to that point. It might. Where he know he can't, um, he know he can't um, uh, uh, match him, yeah. and they get to a point where he gets so obsessed that he's going to cross his own line. Yeah. Uh, so, Soldier Boy is now out. Uh, they they kind of they they plan off Captain America where <laughs> he woke up, and it, it ain't even been the longest Captain America's out. It was since the eighties. Like yeah. he got, he was I guess out of, out, he wasn't frozen or something. But I guess he's been out, out of society they, since the 80s. Yeah, they've been keeping him on lockdown. Since the Russia. 80s. But they actually, they've been torturing him, though. I guess they've been testing his man, limitations. Man, when they when they took that torch to him, man. Yeah, it was messed up. Uh, I don't know so what. Was, he seems to be a bit more durable than Captain America. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, it seems like I mean, he feels pain, though. Yeah. But it seems that he either heals or... Um, uh, or just you know, just so tough that it don't it hurt it hurts, but it don't it doesn't cause him right. bodily. I mean, it doesn't uh, give him terminal harm, yeah, or whatever. But no, uh, so he's released. He's out there. And he's kind of like walking around, and immediately they show like they, a gay they, couple, like, and he's like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. <laughs> look like the woman, he's like, yeah. But I was like, okay. He stopped in the 80s, so it ain't going to be so different. Only like, cell phones. Well, so, like, I know one thing. Uh, Jensen Ackles, uh, who plays Soldier Boy, ha- has said, like, he needed a break after playing Soldier Boy. Mm. So, like, we're going to see some more stuff from him. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm sure we are. Because he wasn't in the episode a lot, but we just saw he's out. And there's the thing about the boys. Once they let him out, they didn't really yeah. try to. They, they didn't. They just let. They, they just, just let him go. Left. It was like, all right, that's that's Russia's problem now. Yeah, they said somebody else's problem. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. Y'all let the dude out, and then y'all like, it ain't our problem. And next yeah. thing you know, a whole building got ex- knocked down or whatever. They were like, maybe you ought to do something. <laughs> wait, wait, like, I love they, they, when the phone call comes in. Is that was that who I think it was? Okay, so listen. <laughs> Like, yeah, oh, uh, maybe we ought to do something. <laughs> um, and I'm like, okay, they all should go to jail. Yeah. Uh, right after, because I don't know how many people died yeah. or whatever. It and that's the thing, I'm not sure if he can control that. It looks, it, it seems that he can. I, but I think he can. It was just like he had to get a handle on it. Yeah, or something. Because I don't know if that was a reaction. I forget what was happening, why he uh, started shot off. Did somebody, somebody was antagonizing him, right? Uh, he had a PTSD flashback. Okay, yeah. Because he, uh, he was walking around the corner, he heard the Russian uh, pop music playing, and that yeah. took him back to when they was uh, experimenting on him. Okay, and everybody was like, you all right, pal? And then yeah. shout out. Which we still don't know what the hell is he shooting out of him. Yeah. 
We um, know that it's some kind of radiation, but we don't know what exactly that shit is. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> the whole thing is now they 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 got to clean up their mess and get Soldier <laughs> Boy back. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Which, and um, I did like when he get, went and got his old costume. Some Hollywood guy, the uh, legend, the <laughs> <laughs> bringing up a lot of people from. He, was, he said something like, "Yeah, I was, I was balls deep in some chicken." Marlon Brando was, was balls, balls deep, deep in me. Dear God, <laughs> like, like when I tell you that was like <laughs> pause. Uh, <laughs> Like you don't just drop that. <laughs> Warn a brother before you say some <laughs> shit like that. But no, um, but no. Uh, that's the thing. Huey um, is on board with the compound V yeah. V twenty four. Like he yeah. liked the way it made him feel, and he want to do it again. Yeah. Um, and kind of like talking like a real junkie too. It's like yeah, he he kind of addicted to it. Like a one hit. Yeah. <laughs> Like I mean, I, superpowers like, though. Like I kind of also get where Huey's coming from, where it's like he's like he's been stuck in these situations, not actually being able to make a difference for yeah. the longest time. And I was getting tired of him in season two, that he just was a little too. Which they, the thing is, they do this in shows. They 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 stopped his development to keep um, what worked for the season one going on. Yeah, and that's the fact that. He's like a, a audience avatar, right? But not just that, but he's always like frightening and like what? What the hell? Oh my god! You know, and he's the puppy, right? And it, yeah. it gets to a point where this season two, you can't still be surprised. Yeah, you know what like, I'm saying? Because the thing is, he keeps acting like he doesn't know how what that butcher has no limits. He, you know, right? He doesn't understand that the soups are so, horrible, bastards. right? And if butcher do something crazy. He's gonna. He he still was acting surprised. Whoa, 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 man! What the f- you know, like, dude? This is like, like this is not okay. even the worst thing you've seen him do. Not okay. the worst thing, he, and they've done it so many times that it's like okay, it's par for the course. And it, it gets to a point now that's getting old, yeah. uh, Huey. So I mean, they they passed it now, but the second season it was getting old. You know, him over reacting to things or whatever. Uh, now, but it, it makes sense. He he he's always been the weak guy. In the yeah. group. So now he's got some power, and it made him because, like, strong. even like, because MM like is clearly you know yoked. You can tell, yeah, that, right, you right. know, off off first glance. Frenchie is you know, he got skills. He got skills, right? He bout some stuff, right? And, um, and Kimiko's super strong, yeah. whatever. So I mean, she basically bl- like comic book Black Widow, yeah, with super strength, yeah, right. <laughs> that part, uh, but. Crawled under the uh, lip of the desk on the side. All right. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Like. So, uh, yeah. Um, Huey. Oh, so now nah, Huey. Um, it cracks me up when. Uh, so they looking for S- Soldier Boy. So now they they looking for him. Whatever. So they had to go. Oh, what's it? Red count Countess Crimson or whatever. Countess. Yeah, she was his ex girlfriend back in the day or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's the deal with this chimps can't cry stuff. Mm. I thought she'd be in jail after killing somebody. When remember on she, yeah. she was running from and she just like killed a bystander. Yeah. It seemed like there was no blowback for that. No. But is there ever? I know, but god damn, what they didn't even acknowledge that. Now, I know they might say, well, it was some guy in a mascot suit, but they showed blood and stuff. Yeah. It was somebody in that suit. Yeah. And that, she killed that, him. That dude got trying to get away from them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm and they more, never touched that. They never touched on that. I'm more concerned with the fact that they actually put Seth Rogen in there. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, spanking it to Crimson County. It was like, it's like, well, the meter's running, so uh, can we just get the show on the road? Yeah. <laughs> well, look, and, and the, the mom is still finished. <laughs> finished. It, <it's> like <laughs> oh, my God. But anyway, uh, I thought, do he produce this or something? Maybe I think he's one I, of the executive he, producers. I think he might be, yeah. Uh, I think he is. But anyway, um, uh, so anyway, no. So the boy comes to see her, and um, they have th- their whole, uh, you know, tete right, tete. Well, right. But this is what I was telling you. Um, why didn't it kill? Well, I guess maybe chemical because of her powers. 
Well, not even necessarily that, but like the way it happened. Like, cause the first the first time he used it, it wasn't as powerful as the second time, and and the mm. third time was even more powerful than that. And it looked like he meant like this is the first time it looked like he meant to do it. Mm. So like I'm thinking he just said, "Nah, I'm about to roast this." Right and right, but. So he hit Kimiko with that blast, and she like I, like, I don't lost even, her powers. Yeah, so I'm but pretty he sure. hit the crimson counters with it, and then she just got roasted. Well, like no, but that's what I'm saying. It doesn't just get rid of powers; it is still an energy blast. Okay, so like she caught a full blast to the face that went past her. Okay, she got caught like it, she was basically at the side of a of a nuclear uh, so explosion. I'm saying like, is it because Kimiko can heal? No, it had nothing to do with that. It was just the size and force of the blast. Kimiko caught the got caught by a by the shock wave of the detonation and some of the radiation. She, but she, like, I thought she got hit by the blast. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is because of the size of the detonation. Is the difference between it like, don't matter, like <laughs> I'm just saying, like you acting like it's it's something to do with her. It's the amount of energy. I'm not acting like nothing because I don't know. I'm actually I'm asking, no, no, that, and you telling. Yeah. So we good. Yeah. Um. But um. The thing is, I was under oppression. Oh, he taking away powers. That's his thing. But no, nah, that's just a side effect of what right. I, but I was gonna say. That would have been a cool plot point because I would have been like, oh, they can use that to get an rid of Homeland's powers. Super, super weapon, yeah. Yeah, that 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 would be perfect right now. Maybe it, there's there's something that, with that or whatever. But the I'm fact sure that's that... that's still where, the, where they're headed. But I know, but the fact that that blast just roasts people too, I, I'm like, okay, well, I don't see the good side of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, like maybe, it's, maybe it can... Well, I, I think that's intentional. Right, it's because like if it's just upside, mm. like we can because Kimiko not only not has had a side effect for a minute, she seems like she permanently lost her powers. Looks that which way. that makes her happy because she thought she think of it as a curse. Yeah, but um, uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. They but even we, have a little bit there where it makes it seem like now that her powers are gone, her voice might come back. Yeah, I know, and it's like they keep on like I don't care. I don't know. If, I mean, that's I mean, you like them characters, yeah. but I was like, I don't give a shit. And it's like they keep on. They she showing her sing. I guess the real the real act. I guess the actress is good at singing. I don't know if that's her voice. I don't think that's her voice or uh, whatever. I guess I, she like musicals. Yeah, and uh, they keep having her like daydream, and then she starts singing. Yeah, and that's just annoying to me. I, I but <laughs> but um, whatever. Um, I'm cool with it, and I hope this they do something with that take away power thing, uh, which would be a good plot point for how they can how can they take care of Homelander. Yeah, you know, just to overpower him. I don't know if they could do that or whatever. But as we can uh, we see that we think that Butcher's going to fight um, uh, Soldier Boy, but no, he actually gets an alliance. Yeah, I'm not sure how he got him to. See, Soldier Boy actually seemed reasonable too. I thought he was gonna be like, "Fuck y'all," and I'm just gonna beat everybody. No, nah, he, he actually talked to him. He's like, "All right." Well, because like already, <laughs> like the one of my favorite uh, throwaway scenes in this is when he's walking downtown and he sees like the the billboard for the seven. Like, Psh. yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't know what he was looking at. He just like, uh, what the hell is this like shit? the hell is this shit? But um, but no, nah, it's like in that moment, it's like. You can see he and Butcher have a lot in common, mm -hmm. like because they're both assholes who get the job done no matter what, you know, comes with that. You mm -hmm. know, and so it's just like, look, I want to fuck these people up. I know you want to fuck them up. Why don't we go ahead and you know shake hands and we can get this done together, and right. then we fuck off our separate ways. <laughs> it's I'm not, I don't not sure how he's going to be. I, is he with the boys now, or he's not against them? Right, so I think I'm not sure how this it. alliance is gonna work, but I'm looking like, well, shit, Soldier Boy don't seem like I was thinking I was I, ready for like, worse. I'm, like I'm pretty sure this is like a bad guy. So far, just an enemy <laughs> of my enemy situation. Right, and it's like cool. Well, we can work with that. Yeah, 
I mean, they don't need no other problems, actually. <laughs> because <laughs> they come out uh-huh. and they got to fight Soldier Boy and uh, Homelander. It's like, shh. They can they can kind of keep Homelander in check just by, um, by uh, he seems like he don't want to do shit now. But yeah. we don't talk about that in a second. <laughs> but they can kind of keep him in check by, um, uh, you know, letting him think that he's gonna not be popular or something. Yeah, you know, uh, stuff like that. But physically, they can't fuck with him. It was like, and even that is starting to go away now. Right. So, but yeah, Homelander is on this high horse. He's kind of in control of Vod, but he it, that, that's he's just a corporate. Well, like, and that's the Guy. thing is that's become a the double edged sword that Stan Edgar basically warned him it would. Yeah, He's like, no, no, you can't just go out there and do your thing anymore. You got to worry about the company now. Yep, and you made that decision. He's just a, a corporate guy, yeah. and it's like <laughs> once they see once Soldier Boy attack, he don't even want to do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like he's like Superman, the head of Justice League, and when something actually happened, a real threat happens. He is like, like so. So we should go out there and do something. Okay, I need to book uh, some press appearances. Right, all they can and, think uh, about <laughs> is like, oh, uh, dude, let, let the shareholders know that we're good. We got this, and dude. I swear. Then he go right on the talk show and talk about that um, somebody did that as a setup or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's Man, like, the, the it's the like that's news. the worst superhero. He's not actually gonna do anything. Man. <laughs> like, and that's the thing is like I think this has been good at doubling down on how much his appearance means to him. Yeah, because like even knowing he could go out there, find somebody, put the hurt on him, and be done with it, uh, he's still worrying about the optics. Yeah, it's funny. Um, I was like, I thought I was like, oh, okay, now we get to see, actually Homelander see be a hero. <laughs> he nah. literally did nothing. Nah. <laughs> he didn't give a shit. He a punk. <laughs> uh, but no, um, uh, I did like um, so. I was I I don't know I don't know I guess I wasn't surprised Maeve and uh, Butcher hooked up. Yeah. Uh, I mean Maeve is bisexual and it's like it's not a big deal but she go both ways but it's just like I was like oh, I thought she she had a, like a girlfriend yeah, but then they show her with guys and girls. Yeah, so. I know she's on the out with her girlfriend too. Right, right, right. That's so I just, I was just I just didn't see I mean her and Butcher get. Together. I wasn't expecting that. But up. I mean, once but. they showed them getting drunk, I was like, "Oh well, we already know where this is going." Yeah. <laughs> and uh, toxicity, right? But I mean, I don't blame her. She is fine. Though. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it looked like just it was like, wait, we both was drunk, we both was horny. Let we just that just happened. Yeah. Like I don't see like, oh yeah, May is my girlfriend now. It's just that shit just happened. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the whole thing is that's where you're getting this V from V twenty four. Which I think, and knowing Butcher, he might be like, well, I just got to keep her happy, so I keep getting my V24. You know what I'm saying? So she basically is sugar mama. Right, basically. Uh, plus, she's sad and... and, and uh, sad, mad, and lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the best time. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best time to get, just give her, you know, give her some sex, give her some... Matter of fact, but, he was uh, banging the um, FBI. Like, he was banging somebody in... Uh, remember, that was yeah. like... It was like uh, somebody that worked in the, the bureau, and they was it was just they was just banging her. But yeah. I mean, uh, they, it was just a physical. They, they was just having sex. Yeah, she was married, but he like hooked up with her. But he was getting shit from her. Yeah. yeah. So when he goes see her, he act like he was liking her. Like, hey, baby, I miss you. And all they hook up. I'm like, yeah, I need a favor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like one of them. Yeah. Is. So I was like, this is on par with Butcher. He just gonna be using Maeve Pretty to get much. that twenty four V twenty four. Well, they're using each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> again, toxicity. Uh, though that ends up uh, coming back on Maeve a little bit because right, which I'm like, damn, he he can smell. I guess super smelling or whatever. But like, I guess he's like, if he if he would have cataloged anyone's scent, it probably would have been Butcher's. Yeah, I know, but it's like, damn. But like, that's that's. <laughs> <laughs> That's some next level creepy. I mean, things, he owns some Wolverine smelling yeah. shit. It's like I, I can smell them on you. With them damn shark eyes. Man. Yeah, but um, okay. So then we get. So I was looking like, is maybe strongest Wonder Woman, uh, cause she actually, maybe not beat Homelander, but you know, hold her own. Like for for <laughs> like I, what was it? She said she could hold him off for a few minutes. Oh, did she say that? Yeah. I was wondering because I was like. I was like, okay, she don't seem like she never scared of him, but at this time she seemed like she was a like, bit 
like I don't even think it was ever a matter of fear. It was a matter of hatred and lack of self worth. Right, but it's like I know I can't beat him, but I'm not scared of him, and I'll fight him if it ever happens. It's like she ain't scared of him, but she also ain't scared to die. Right. You know? So anyway, he threatened her like he threatened everybody, yeah. and she seemed to kind of be afraid a little, and yeah. then she. And then I didn't even know his name is John. I forgot that they said his I name. I forgot that shit. He's like, like, oh, John, he's the uh, don't John me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I guess uh, he figured out she's uh, been seeing Butcher. So, yeah. but was that Black Noor N- yeah. that Noir. came at her? Yeah. I was like, I saw that. I was like, who was that? I couldn't really tell. Um, but they kind of did a little ambush thing. And yet, we don't know what his story is, right. which they did give somewhat in the other episode that it was some black dude. Yeah, was he? Is he? He wasn't related to Stan, was he? It, it or was felt like some they, black dude. It felt like they they had some kind of right, like that was his brother or something yeah. for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, you know, Grant Stan was still a heartless asshole back then. Yeah, but uh, um, shout but, out to that actor. Did yeah. did a good young uh, Stan Esposito. You want to call him? <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I don't. I'm not even sure if this is still the same dude wearing the outfit or not. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we have to find that. That dude look fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the few times we've seen Black Noir take, but then we off, then we see he was all messed up. up. Yeah. So that that's it could that's, be that falls in line with yeah. happened. He just got like I'm, up, I'd be yeah. interested to because I know in the comics he's a clone of Homelander. Right. That's the. That was the big reveal in the comics. Yeah. Well, that's a deterrent. Yeah, so if... If, if Homelander get out of line, they got another Homelander that can take him out. Who's... But what's stopping him from getting out of line? Like, because he's, he's just a bargain bin psychopath. Like, he doesn't have the the level of ego Homelander does. He just likes killing stuff. Well, I, I didn't say maybe he's completely obedient or something. Yeah. Um, like, he's barely sentient. You're right. Is what, is what it t- kind of comes down to is so how I do what he told or whatever. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, it was a it was a cool little episode. I mean, it wasn't a lot of action, but oh, we didn't talk about Adrian. <laughs> this month, I know I can't stand this dude. First off, he wearing some he, he, back to Africa some kente cloth, and and, and they make me so mad. <clears throat> like he don't give a damn. He it's like he dude. would not just stop trying to. He's pathetic, man. It, 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 like it it was. And, and I'm a, it's making me mad. It's bad enough that he's on Homelander's dick so hard, but also, so like the, part of his character arc in this is like there's this uh, superhero that's over policing this uh, area. Was it Trenton? Yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, Trenton, New Jersey. He's over policing black neighborhoods, victimizing innocent bystanders, and A Train's great idea was like it when his his brother his, asked him. To say to speak out on yeah. it and because uh, he was trying to <clears throat> find a, something to speak out. He said, "Wait, what? This dude is actually killing and hurting people in our neighborhood yeah. and saying they criminals or whatever. Even sometimes I don't know if they are some committing crimes, some not or whatever. But he has his brother asked him to speak out on it, and then so what he do is for publicity thought he could get him to uh, uh, pretty much kind of jump on a." Uh, uh, get a sympathy oh, vote kind of thing. You know thing. what? I'm just not realizing he traded Supersonic's life for that meeting. Oh, wow. Yeah. That fuck A-Train, <laughs> no, man. A-Train is trash, dude. He is garbage, bro. And I don't know if, if, if they're going to bring it to a head at the end of the series be like, oh, he was actually a triple agent and it's not what it looked like and all that. <sighs> But other than that, he's just a selfish, whack-ass dude yeah. that won't accept that he's no longer a star. Yeah. And, like, and, God, yeah, he and he's getting on my nerve. And it gets to a point where he um, he brings this dude to a black what community. Was it, Blue center. Hawk? The Blue Hawk. <laughs> I don't even yeah. know what his powers yeah. is. So he, uh, who, I, he seemed to cares? be super strong. Who cares? He He's generically super. Um, right. So, but he did punch somebody... And knock him back to the yeah. wall or whatever. <laughs> uh, so uh, he get Blue Hawk to the community center in 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 uh, his neighborhood, 
dude brings out his prepared apology and it's some BS. I know, the way he read it, like, he didn't like, give shit. Like, and this is the thing that's been pissing me off about the boys, and I get that it's supposed to piss you off. It's like, y'all ain't even trying to pretend that you ain't assholes. <laughs> like, at least pretend. Like, yeah, I mean, like, it, it got bad. And I'm then, sorry to the people of Trenton. That, uh, and, yeah, and I'm going to donate $10,000 to this community. <laughs> like, or the way he's like, that some of my actions have made me appear perhaps a little racist. And, <laughs> like, and so when they they understandably start calling him out for like over-policing their neighborhoods and all this, and he starts doubling down on, like, I just happen to go where the crime is, and <laughs> crime is mostly in black neighborhoods, and maybe you should look into that, huh? <laughs> like, and he starts getting antagonistic, and then finally, like, somebody says black lives matter. He's like, no, no, all lives matter. Matter of fact, soup lives matter, <laughs> you assholes. Soup lives matter. Like, oh, But, yeah, and, 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 look, the whole thing is, it, it was a disaster, but. And A-Train uh, didn't even try to stop him. And, but. A train ain't got no powers no more. No, nah, but like it ain't even about that. It's I like know. you see this ship is clearly going off the rails. You didn't you didn't say, hey yo, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you, you I mean it. he did say like just cut it right yeah. now. But still, at the end of the day, he never should have brought the dude there. Have brought him there. Because like, what he could have done was not that. He just yeah. tried to do some publicity bullshit. Yeah. And and also, and this is one of the big problems with the way he started his character arc in this season is he wants to be he wants to rebrand himself as being down with the culture. Yeah, but he won't speak for it because he's he's full of shit. Of course he is. That's so the like, po- that's the point. You ain't really you don't you know, care. It's like you show, be show people a that star you care about you know our community. I know I'm gonna put some kente cloth on and I'm gonna start you know. Uh, saying power to the people, and all, man. Fuck you, you ain't shit. Yeah, I'm I'm cool on that train, man. He wackers yeah. here. Uh, and then at the end of the day, his brother got hurt in the scuffle. I don't see how he got that hurt. Yeah, but he seemed to be like damn and crippled traction, or something. He in traction now, and the doctor's like, hey, we just gonna have to see what we see. I know. I'm looking like that. That was what karma. actually happened. To get hurt him that bad, it didn't even look like he got because like he I, wasn't even involved in the in the skirmish. Yeah. I don't. Think. I mean, I guess one of the people that got ran thrown into across him the room whatever, got God thrown damn. into him. I know, you know it's for the story. They just yeah. need him to be messed up, but it's just like I don't see how that happened. But that dude did not <laughs> deserve a train as a brother. Yeah, no. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, did, did we miss anything? Uh, uh, I don't, not that I can think of. So. Where we going? Where we at is Huey. I mean, uh, the boys is teamed up with Soldier Boy to, to or at least Butcher is. Oh right. no, uh, Frenchie got uh, kidnapped by Little Nina. Oh uh, yeah, that too. I guess that whatever. She because I mean she asked him like asked it, him to that whole boy. art kind of pissed me off. Like yeah, yeah, kill the kid. And they came back like it seemed like the same day because they had the same clothes on. Yeah, like, you didn't kill this kid. Like God damn, you didn't give him time. <laughs> <laughs> but he also said he wasn't gonna do it. But like, yeah, said, but you supposed to wait and see if he do it or not. Yeah, it seemed like they came right back like a couple hours. <laughs> like you didn't do it. Now you about to like, God damn. I mean, I wasn't gonna do it, but yeah. what the fuck? Anyway, um, so that was episode five of the boys. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really am interested to see what's gonna happen with Homelander. Um, well, I mean, we, I don't know what's going, but I'm, I'm watching him. I'm enjoying watching what's. His wherever he go, like his yeah. progression, or what's going like, to happen. I'm with hoping him. this all comes to a head and ends with one butcher and Homelander having one super powered fight. Yeah, but specifically having a fight without powers. I'm um, like, also. I want to see that. I'll, oh, if, I would see. That's the thing. If, if Homelander loses his powers, I don't know, man. He's gonna be like a crybaby or something. That's what I would I like see. to see though if he is gonna be pathetic. Right, because in the comics he wouldn't when he like a crybaby yeah. or something, like yeah, he was like a pathetic man or whatever. Which they took a lot of that out. But uh I yeah, without like Superman without powers, like he get his ass kicked because yeah. he don't know how to fight because he yeah. always been super strong. Exactly. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh so yeah, that is our boys episode five discussion. Uh we're gonna be uh, go ahead be out here. Anybody still watching the video, please um, please uh, subscribe to the channel and 
hit that bell icon so you get alerts anytime we post new videos or if we live stream. And if you like what you've seen here today, hit that thumbs up down below and don't forget to leave a comment if you have anything if you have any thoughts you want to leave about this episode. Yeah, we out here, yeah. Peace. <laughs>